Hi there, so we've all heard about gas and electric smart meters. Uh, some people have had bad experiences with those and some people have had good ones. Uh, now comes the turn of smart water meters. Now Anglian Water told me uh, via email and text that I was going to be having my meter changed to a smart meter uh, within the next few weeks. So I knew it was going to happen. But I saw this guy walking around uh, the streets with a sort of pulley cart behind him going into every kind of uh, water meter down the street. So I went out and had a chat to him and found out that he was in fact installing the smart meters. Now they actually last, he said, they have a battery in them. They last for about 10 years. Uh, what he was doing was he was having to sort of hoover out the water that was sometimes inside the uh, the water meters in the ground and then he was just turning off your water supply for a couple of minutes um, putting the smart meter in and then turning your water back on but i didn't see any uh, or have any problems with the water being turned off they sort of tell you to run your water afterwards to clear the gray stuff out but i ran it but i couldn't see any sort of dark water coming out of the taps but it was basically painless and he was sort of finished on my meter within kind of i don't know five minutes something like that and afterwards he dropped this really nice kind of envelope through the letterbox saying that we've uh, upgraded you to a smart meter now on the back of it it actually says your uh, old serial number of your old meter and the final meter reading in pen on the back and then it's got a sticker on the back showing you your new serial number and your new reading and the date it was installed. Now, the great thing about this is that you can see your water usage every hour. It reads every hour, unlike a gas and electric smart meter that should read every 30 minutes. Now, where can you find all this data? Well, all this lovely data is held in the, your local water authority's uh, website or app. My Anglian Water have an app and I decided to log in um, to that and have a look at it. Now, it takes about two, two weeks, three weeks for the actual data to come through, basically because they sort of test your water meter, your smart meter in the ground first for a week or two to make sure it's all right before they start publishing the data. And then what you'll find is you can sign up if you want to see hourly uh, numbers in the app. If you don't sign up to hourly numbers, you'll just see daily and weekly. But basically what I had to do when I went into the app was say, yes, water is coming into my property. And yes, I would like to see hourly data. So let's go and have a look at the data. Right, so I've logged into Anglian Water. Now your um, user interface for your local water company may be different to mine but this is how Anglian Waters looks. So we've got different tabs up here. We've got my usage, build usage, and home comparison. The home comparison data says coming soon, and the water usage overview says coming soon because it's only been on for, I don't know, not very long, a few weeks, a couple of weeks. So it defaults to daily usage when you come in. So each day on here from the 7th of Jan to the 24th of Jan, I can see how much uh, water I've used in litres. I guess if I swap that over. Yeah, so I can get that in cubic metres if you prefer that. I'm going to put it back to litres. Um, what else can you do? Well, before we go on and look at kind of hourly numbers, um, this is really interesting that the blue is actual usage recorded by the meter uh, but the gray is estimated usage now i kind of had no idea why um, there was kind of estimated usage and why you would have that to be honest um, it has estimated a figure but obviously it's still going to have to just get the billing from the actual red number um, but when you hover over this information piece here and click on it it's really interesting actually and it says and i'll read it to you estimates are used when we don't receive a reading from your smart meter this may be because there was an issue with the signal from the meter don't forget this the meters are below ground level for example a car being parked on top of the meter chamber 
or it could be because of adverse weather conditions such as heavy rain obviously getting water on top of it or strong winds strong winds i'm unsure about strong winds maybe that's just blowing the signal around or something like that but if you've got uh it sounds like if you've got your water meter in the road or something or on the street or half on the path and a lot of cars kind of park where you live on the street or half up the pavement um and half on the road you might find that you might not get a reading i think that's what he's trying to say so it'd be interesting to know if on those days when i did have um, estimated readings if there were cars being parked on top of my uh, water meter which isn't in front of my house it is to one side it's actually more in front of kind of the neighbor's drive really than it is mine because our two are close together but anyway that was just something i thought you might found interesting um, so let's go and have a look at the hourly numbers now so these are my hourly numbers it's really interesting actually to actually see um your water usage just like you see your gas and electric usage um you can even we even started chatting about like oh this is when you had a shower in the evening after you came home or this is you flushing the toilet um <laughs> or uh you know this is you brushing your teeth in the morning kind of thing like that so you could actually just see how many liters were kind of used um, and if you use any overnight and think, well, you know, why am I using some overnight? Although though we haven't looked at um, how much water the washing machine uses yet or the dishwasher. So that will be quite interesting to have a look at. But these numbers can really vary like 50 litres there in the morning. I believe that sounds a lot, but I believe that's a shower, brushing teeth, flushing the toilets when you get up. Um, and then probably, I don't know, coffee, tea in the morning and some more sort of flushing of toilets lunchtime or making tea um another shower in the evening and if you want to you don't want to know what this massive spike is this is my teenage son having a 15 minute shower probably between eight and sorry nine and ten o'clock he is a nightmare i must admit um and then 40 liters again up that is between one and two in the morning this really did stumble me actually i thought well, what is going on between midnight and one in the morning um on the 23rd of jan now i don't know if that was a weekend night and my son was just up late um but i believe it could have been uh, our salt um soft water underneath the kitchen um doing its process but that's supposed to run every night um sort of about two or three in the morning so and on some nights it didn't on the over here it didn't even show up so i'm not so sure about that one very very interesting um so i've had a few days use of it as you can see uh it basically updates um today is actually the 25th of january and it's showing me the 24th so it takes a day you won't get sort of instant an hour ago kind of readings it does take like an hour sorry an hour a day to actually update itself so you can come back in the next day and look at your kind of usage if you want to. I mean, this could get really boring <laughs> looking at your water usage. Um, as I find that sort of water, the water bill is quite reasonable, I think. I mean, my bill is about £30 a month on a metre for three of us, um, which I think is quite good value for money compared to gas and electrics, you know, where you kind of pay 10 times that a month at the moment. So yeah, so you can go in here and have a look at your uh, your usage. Uh, one thing I couldn't find was any way of actually exporting the data, which I do sometimes do with my electric data, um, just to kind of add up what I was using overnight and things like that. Although obviously with water, there is no cheap rate. There is no kind of overnight cheap rate, or not, not that I know of. It's the same cost uh, whether you use it during the day or during the evening. Uh, weekly i think that's fairly explanatory isn't it just totals up what you use for the week and then for the month although we've got no monthly data yet because the month is not over it says here the data is coming soon so on the build usage uh, this is showing me just what was billed as you can probably see here basically i used to just get kind of billed um, every year really in september uh, September 19, 20, 21, 
22 um, but now it seems like I don't know what's going on here really I think they build it up to the fourth because that's when the new meter was installed um, you can see down the bottom here meter read um, zero and then you actually get um, some extra data along here showing you um, your meter reading so this was the new meter installed this was the old meter on the fourth um, and the usage so we were getting usage rates out of here but these were yearly kind of annual numbers and you get percentages going up and down on the trends um, so far we've not had anything else come through here because we've not had a bill um, come through and home comparison, that'll be quite interesting when uh, I get enough data coming through, when everyone starts getting, uh, obviously, the whole street or something. I don't know if it's going to be based on street or based on just like a general uh, area, but we'll see. Um, you can change your house occupancy up here, actually. A uh, number of people living in your house, including children. We use this information to provide you with an accurate monthly usage comparison. Yeah, so mine wasn't set, and I did set it the other day to three people. The comparison shows how your usage compares to other homes with the same occupancy as you in the area. Without this information, we'll, you'll just see an average comparison to homes with two people. So it is worth updating that if you've got it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was just my experiences of uh, my smart water meter so far. Um, if you liked the video, give us a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.